So it's been an exciting weekend. My sister came out finally for the, for the first time since our baby was born. You know, travel's been restricted because of COVID-19. And I experimented with a strawberry peach pie, which turned out. And we put together the crib, which is another thing off the, the checklist. So that's exciting. And I finally sat down with the, the guy who's printing my paintings for the Kickstarter. And I am really impressed. So let me, uh, let me set this up for you. I used to work in oil and watercolor. And when you work in oil and watercolor, you've got a thing. You can touch it. It's got texture. Uh, there's a, a certain sheen to the, the work, especially with, with oil, that, that just, you know, there, there's a weight, a gravity. To the, to the work, a brightness to the color. I've been working in digital for over a decade. And when, when you work in digital, you don't have a thing. A digital work in its raw form is just a bunch of ones and zeros in a computer. I could display it on a screen. I could print it out. I've had some fancy printers and I've uh, used fancy photo papers, but it looks like a print, or, or it looks like a screen. It doesn't, it doesn't have that, that, that special feel. So I run at Art Castle, take the final artwork, and print them on the, the material just like they're going to look when, when I send them to my backers. And when I walked into the building and saw the work, it was like I was looking at real artwork. The texture of, of, the, of the material looked authentic. For the first time since I've been doing digital work, I feel like I've, been, like I've got real viable artwork to offer to people. So who's, who's the guy behind the, the curtain pulling the levers? My name is Ron Brandt, and I do wide format digital printing, a process called Giclée printing. Giclées differ from ordinary prints in that they are printed at a higher resolution using a specialized printer, color fast or fade resistant inks, and they're printed on archival materials. A good gicle, when treated right, should last over a century. I'll have a link down in the in the notes with the whole interview, and and you can see how Ron he he, he he goes into the different technologies that he uses to make his works of art, and I do consider them his his work works of art in their own right. He is a craftsman which is what I want to talk about in this video. Uh, Ron seems like he has been born to do this work. Like everything in life has prepared him for this, this moment. <laughs> he is, uh, when, when he was 16 or 17, he started work in his father's pre-press shop Back in the day, newspapers and printers needed photo photographs and artwork prepared to print. So it was a long, tedious process to to um, take a photograph and convert it into the four printing plates, which was yellow, magenta, and cyan, and black, that the printers would use to, to print from. So I learned about color and color theory and all that working with my father. So when Ron made the jump into his own business, he started a new company using a new technology called the scanner. The first scanners were drum scanners. They were big, monstrous machines and very expensive and uh, very complicated to run. And uh, but anyway, I, I, I managed to buy one. But unfortunately, the scanners and the other technologies continued to develop and soon newspapers and magazines had pre-press equipment in office. And the, uh, digital cameras came out, uh, the flatbed scanners, 
um, direct plate systems uh, became available and all of a sudden my business was either going to have to make some kind of transformation or I'd have to close the doors. Thankfully, Ron had a burning interest in art. He had taken painting lessons as a teenager. I just started painting in oil when I was young and just made it part of, enjoyed it, and made it part of my life. During this transition in his business, he attended an art show and saw the work of Bascom Hurd. And I thought they were original pieces of art. And I went out and talked with him. And he said, no, these are prints. And I was like, you're kidding. I mean, I was like blown away. So I bought my first uh, G-Clay printer, which was an iris printer at the time, um, high-end inkjet printer. And, and actually, Bascom Heard uh, became my very first customer. And the rest is history. Speaking of history, when I was in art school and I was playing around with oil paintings and watercolors, I used all, all different kinds of material. I used some nice expensive oil colors and fine linens and stuff like that. I, I used some really cheap stuff too. These prints should outlast those student paintings. They are high quality works of art. And I'm, I'm really glad to finally be able to offer works at this level. So I delivered my sister to the airport late yesterday. She was headed back to her fiance and my folks. Our baby was very sad to see her go. So the Kickstarter ends on Friday. I've poured my heart into this campaign. Ron has his decades of experience behind this project. I encourage you, if you if you would like these artworks, yeah, go to the Kickstarter. I'll have a link down in the show notes. It's wonderful to be able to offer this artwork at this quality. I'm really grateful. Thank you.